This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. What's good, squad? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on my post notification bell because your boy is only going up from here. All right, so let's get it. Um, remember in the last vlog, I was talking to you guys about what I had coming in in those packages. Only one person had it correct. Only one person had it correct. And I just want to say, I know it, this might not sit right with a lot of people. This may not be the ideal setup for this car but I'm going back stance and your boy got some new set of wheels and I'm also going to talk to you guys about is buying real wheels or three-piece wheels or just authentic wheels all in general is it worth buying so you stay tuned all right let's get it You already know, third box. Uh, it's starting to turn into a whole new JDM spot. Yeah, I know you guys are dying to see what's inside them. What wheels did I pick? All right guys, so this is gonna be the best part of my day. I literally just got off work. I've been itching to get home to unbox these wheels. And you know, you know, I just wanna say buying real wheels, it can be worth it. You know, because now when you have your first set of real wheels, you're always able to flip and make more money depending on how you price them or how did you buy them or how much you put your wheels for beforehand. You're always able to either sell it for more or at least seven that sell it at an even price. You know, so that's the cool thing about owning real wheels. So you guys already know I had the TE37s beforehand and boom, TE37s is gone, but I was able to get another set of wheels right away and be able to keep money on top of that. You know what I'm saying? So. I just want to say like if you're gonna get into it you know I would try to go for a nice set of wheels my first time around you know and like I said the durability of the, the real wheels the you know they're there is good like they're forged wheels you know you might get a little bend here but depending on how you hit your wheel you know what a, a replica wheel, you could literally obliterate the whole thing or you could bend it all the way into a U so it's like you know I say real wheels kind of hold up stronger especially like where I live in it's potholes everywhere you know it's a lot it, it just feels it feels better driving the car knowing like if you hit a pothole your whole entire wheel will not break apart or you know bend up now i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and act like i never had a set of like replica wheels i did i've hit potholes in them and i've had i haven't had problems obviously if you hit there, there's certain wheels that you know have different type of casting because you know what replica wheels is just basically like they pour it into a cast and that's how you know they create that that style of wheel like with forged wheels they actually take it out of like a forged metal steel block or whatever it's called and cut it out from that so that's the difference like forged is really 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 strong so i just want to let you guys know that before we get into this unboxing but like if you're always if you're ever having doubts about what style of wheels you want to get you know just google it search it up and you'll see like what other cars had this style of wheel where you know I say when you're getting into the car scene and you're trying to learn about, you know, the, the car that you own, you should always just hit the forms automatically. Start searching the forms, start searching things that you know you might want to do to your car. So that's what I've always done. Same thing when I bought the S2000, people kept saying in the forms like, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, and blah, blah, blah. And then I went and did it and it actually worked. So like, you know, I just say just try to stick to your guns and just do some research and trust me. You will, your car will always come out immaculate. You know, like my car isn't perfect and I never act like my car is perfect. But you know, for the things that I want, I just try to do research first. So, you know, if that's something you wanna do, go for it. So let's get this unboxing. Come on, man. Oh, snap. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Please don't be damaged. Please do not be damaged. Ooh, look at the packaging on this. What'd I do with the scissors? 
Don't mind my brother. He's out there talking to his friend. But yeah, man. They package it super good, super well. I'm trying to see if there's any scuffs or any dents or anything. But for the most part, it looks good, man. All right, let's take it out. Ice. These came with brand new lips. So you already know this thing about to be shining. Ooh. Ooh. See, I told y'all, man, I wanted to get something with a lip again. These wheels are a little bit wider. Not gonna lie. That's why I said I cannot wait to... Yo, dang. Getting my light skin on. Who is this guy? And he got the fresh cut. Yo, who auntie am I picking up tonight? What the with the ice come on son <laughs> but uh these wheels are a little bit aggressive now do i want to give you guys my specs i don't know you guys gonna have to hit that smash that like button and hit that subscribe button to know these specs because i know there's a couple of you guys on here that kept telling me to stance the car back and it's not like i haven't been stanced before but these ones are a little bit wider so I can't wait to get these tested on, man. But for the for the most part, these things is icy, boy. You know what I mean, with the center caps. But I'm gonna get these powder coated, so don't mind the faces and stuff. I'm gonna get these powder coated, and you see, get this hex cap nice and. I'm gonna pick a color. What color do you think I should do these wheels, guys? You guys, let me know down below. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get these faces painted soon. Well, powder coated soon. I gotta pick a color. Yeah, y'all see that? Focus. Yeah, that work. These that work. What's good, guys? So I just came back from getting something to eat. So that's why I'm in a different attire right now. My clothes that I was wearing earlier is right there. So it's the same day. But I just want to say, and I want to give a huge shout out to VR Wheels, man. They definitely hooked me up with these wheels. My new wheels are looking so fire, bro. Tomorrow, Saturday, I have to work in the morning. But I'm going to try to get off early so that way I could test fit them. Just know, three and a half lips in the front, four, an inch, four inch lips in the rear. <laughs> we about to be crazy. Like I said, I know some of you guys aren't going to like this. I know some of you guys are going to hate it, but I don't know. I kind of want to give it one more go, man, because I kind of miss that. I kind of miss having that, that that setup and that look. It's not going to be too crazy on the camber or nothing like that, but it's definitely going to be fitted, though. Clean. And it freaking sucks because they're having Honda Day. All the way in Maryland, bro. I don't think I could get myself to drive five hours, almost five to six hours out to go to a car shop. I just can't do it. So I wanted to have, wanted to meet a lot of you guys at Honda Day, but it looks like that's not going to happen. So hopefully there's other shows that I could meet you guys at and you guys are coming out too. But whoo, them dishes, boy. Them di yo, do you see this? Them dishes, boy. Come on, man. Pizza dish, baby. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait. But like I was saying to you guys earlier, man, if you guys get yourself a nice set of three-piece wheels or a nice set of, like, authentic wheels, you're going to always be able to hold its value if you don't damage them. If you keep them clean, you keep them pristine, you're going to always be able to hold value with them. Now, I'm not saying to go out, break bank and break your pockets. If you can't afford it, by all means, get the wheels that you can afford. Because like I said in a, a video that I did a while ago, you know, it took me two years t for me to get, like, for me to be able to afford my first set of three-piece wheels. And my first set of three-piece wheels were Work Equip and Helos. And I kept flipping them, kept flipping them until I was able to afford the wheels that I really, really wanted. So, you know, I just want to say, man, if you can't afford it now, don't break your pockets. Do not try to stunt for the gram. Do not try to stunt for other people's liking. But if you're able to afford it, but you're just trying to go the cheaper route, I'm just telling you just from my self-experience, it's better to own yourself a nice set of wheels because you're going to always 
always be able to hold this value and you're going to always be able to sell it for either more or less, but it's not going to be something that's like drastic. You know what I'm saying? So like, let's just say you're in a buying for money and you know, you got your nice set of wheels sitting. At least you'll know, all right, those set of wheels, I, I know I can at least get $2,000 for. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's an investment, you know, just like certain sneakers and stuff like that. Like I got, yeah. Y'all be talking about sneakers and kicks, and it's like, yo, your boy got kicks up there, you feel me? I got kicks. But, you know, it's an investment, you know? Being a car enthusiast is all investments, you know? It's like, you buy all these expensive car parts, but it's like, you know, you don't always get your money back, but sometimes you do. Sometimes you do, you know? But that's pretty much it, man. All I'm saying is work hard, grind hard, stay focused at all times and always chase your dreams, no matter what. Because I know I'm going to chase my dreams and I want to inspire you guys to keep chasing yours. Alright? So I'll catch you guys tomorrow when I go and test fit these wheels. Later, gang. Squat out.